Okay, we're going to tackle this question, an A2 chemistry question. Calculate the volume of 0.02 moles per litre potassium manganate 7, which just reacts with 0.142 grams of iron 2 sulphate. The first step is to write out the equation for the reaction. In case you didn't know, this is a redox reaction. The manganate 7 is the oxidising agent, and this reacts according to the equation MnO4. Uh, I'm this bracket. Put the charge in brackets. It's a, it's a minus charge in brackets. I didn't get the brackets. MnO4 minus. Plus, well, we need as many hydrogen ions as possible to absorb those four oxygens. So that's eight H plus. And this turns to manganese two plus and four water molecules. Well, you can see here that this isn't balanced electronically. On the left hand side, there are eight positives and one minus. That makes seven positives. On the right hand side, there are only five positives. So we've got to cancel out five of the positives by putting in five electrons on the left hand side. And that's the half equation. Half equation for the behaviour of uh, man manganate 7 iron when it behaves as a, an oxidising agent. Now, now we want to know what the iron does. Well, we've got iron 2. So we're talking about iron 2 plus, and this turns to iron 3 plus. And you can see once again the charges are not balanced. We need to put in one electron on the right hand side to balance the charges. So this is the half equation for the for the iron. Now, when manganate 7 reacts with iron 2 plus, we have to have exactly the same number of electrons. But this means multiplying the second equation by 5. I'm going to put in 5 here, 5 here and 5 here so that we don't have to uh, write it out again. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to add these together now. Add them together. And simply this is going to give us the components we have here. I'll paste them in there. Plus the 5 Fe2 plus iron. And on the right hand side we just add these together as well. Well manganese 2 plus and 4H2O. I'm going to put them in here. <laughs> that pesky micro <laughs> magnifying glass. And 5 Fe3 plus. Plus 5 Fe3 plus. Okay now we, we've got the mole equivalents. Let's have a look. Let's inspect it. Every one manganate reacts with 5 iron 2 plus. So however many moles of this we've got, we must have 5 moles of iron 2 plus ions. Well, let's inspect, let's inspect the actual question. We're told the volume. No, we're not. We've got to calculate the volume of potassium per manganate, which reacts with a certain number of grams of iron 2 sulfate. Right, OK. So we actually need, then, the relative mass of iron 2 sulfate. Now, this isn't given in the question, so we'll have to assume that the iron 2 sulfate is just FeSO4. If it were a hydrated iron 2 sulfate, then we'd also have to include the water crystallization. But the relative mass, then, is the sum of all of the atoms. Well, iron, what's iron? Well, let's call it the periodic table. Have a look. Fe is, where are we, Fe? Fe is... 56, 55.8, sulphur, 32, oxygen, 16. OK, so we're going to have to add up 56 plus 32 plus 16. And that comes to what, 56 and 32 is 88 and 16, 98, 104. It's not 104, of course it's not. We haven't multiplied the 16 by 4, have we? It should be plus 16 times 4, of course. And that doesn't come to 104. Well, 4 16s are 64. 64 and 32 is 96. 96 and 56 
is 152. That seems more likely. Okay, so now we must turn the mass of iron 2 sulfate into grams, so into moles. So mass divided by relative mass equals moles. Okay, so the moles is equal to the mass that we have, which is 0 0.142, 142 grams, divided by the relative mass, which we have is 152. And what does that come to? Well, let's consult the oracle. 0 0.142, 0 0.142, divided by 152. And that comes to 0 0.000934. 0 0.000934. Okay, this is the moles of iron to ions. Because if it's the moles of iron sulfate, one iron sulfate provides one iron two iron. Now we look inspect the equation here. The equation tells us that every five iron two plus moles reacts with one. So the moles of manganate is the moles of iron divided by five. So the moles MnO4 minus equals moles Fe two plus over 5. Well, what's that come to? That comes to 0 0.000934 divided by 5. Alright, let's put it into our calculator. It's point 000934 divided by 5 equals. Alright, so now that comes to 0 0.000187. Three significant figures. Moles. And now we are asked to calculate the volume. So now we're dealing with the solution. So we have to look at the relationship. And the relationship, remember, is moles equals molarity times volume in litres. All right. So in other words, to get the uh, volume, we must divide the moles by the molarity. Volume equals mole divided by molarity equals 0 0.000187 over the molarity which we're given as 0 0.02. 0 0.02. Okay, let's call up the calculator. 0.000187 Eight seven divided by point zero two, and that comes to zero point zero zero nine three five. Now remember, this is in liters, and that equals multiplied by a hundred, sorry, a thousand, equals nine point three five milliliters. So the answer is the volume of which is required to react with 0 0.142 grams of iron 2 sulfate in acid solution is 9.35 milliliters. As I said, remember we've made an assumption here. We've assumed that the iron sulfate is uh, not hydrated crystals. This is not normal. We're much more likely to find that it's a hydrated salt, in which case the relative mass will be different and the final answer will be different. However, for the moment, this is the method that you would use.